It didn't matter where he started because he'd always end up at the same place. <laughs> at the same place. Yeah, so it didn't matter. Well, you know, wherever you start, you're going to end up at the same place. And it's okay. But I just, um, I'll just sit down here since I got that going. And just wanted to ask you about, you know, the early days when you all, before you all moved to, um, to your, to Denison. To Denison. Yeah. Well, we uh, we stayed. We lived with Tom's mother. Well, I started like I guess I'll give a little bit about my family. See, it was uh, fourteen of them, ten girls, and four boys. Uh -huh. And I was the third. Mm. I was the third girl. And uh, we, mother and dad, my dad he farmed, and then he cut. And then he had mm. a little confectionery shop. Where, where was that? In Amit. Amit? Uh, well, let's say it like in Amit, we call it Butler Town. Mm. We said Butler Town. That's in it. And uh, had a little confectionery. We lived just across from the church. And then they'd have big rallies and we'd have good crowds on Sundays, Sunday, mm -hmm. Sunday afternoons. And that's the way I grew up when I went to school. We didn't have too much school. Mm -hmm. We were able to go for three months mm -hmm. that time. And just by the time we think we were going to start really getting in school, we start practicing for a concert. Well, I married when I was 17. Mm -hmm. Of course, you know, I grew up fast because I had to be the mother of so many other little ones coming in, you know, help mother with the babies. And of course, I grew up real fast. <laughs> Where did you get that and uh, well, I married when I was 17. I started with the Tom, and we lived with his mother. We stayed with her. We left, uh, we married in 1918. Uh, and we came to Ohio in uh, 1924. Hi. Yeah, let me let you. So you can contradict her. <laughs> That's what we're doing. Y'all do though, because he can add a lot of things that mommy don't know. Well, I just want to do it. Okay. Well, we don't know about the little kids, don't we? Yeah, okay. Well, I want to change it a little bit. Uh, I want to go back and. Tell the children who the great parents, great grandparents were. Yeah, that. And also, whatever you could tell tell about them. I thought maybe well, they had sit out here and help. Come on, it isn't too much that I can tell my grandmother. She was a little slave girl. She was. She uh, wasn't old enough to work in the field. She watched the kids. And mm -hmm. uh, she was, freedom was declared when she was 11 years old. Yeah. What was her name? Melissa Stepto. Mm. That was her name. Melissa you know their name. And my granddad, I never did get to see him. He was a minister. His name was John Stepto. Mm -hmm. And uh, they, they, when they met, I don't know just where they met, but they lived in Mississippi. Mother never did tell us just where it was, but when they moved to Louisiana down to Amet, well, uh, my my uh, granddad, he finally left my mother, my grandmother, and he went out west at a place they called uh, uh, Indian Territory at that time. Yeah. At that time, that's yeah. what it was called. When, about when was that? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Mother, they were just uh, kids when he left. Mm -hmm. See, there was uh, so it must have been three about girls. 1870s. Must, must have been. Mm -hmm. There was three girls of them, and how many boys? Nevertheless, I'm going to tell my There were four boys mm -hmm. of them. And uh, my grandmother, she, she finished raising the kids, and she was very good. She was, she was kind of fussy, but I loved her, and she loved me. She mm -hmm. loved us, all of us kids. But she seemed to have taken to me. 
And uh, my daddy's mother, her name was Amy Johnson. And she died when my brother, he was next to the oldest, my sister Pearl. Well, before I get into my 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 uh, daddy's mother, I'll tell how my my why my granddad stepped up had to leave Mississippi. He was very mean. Well, he didn't take any stuff, and uh, the whites came down to to beat him up or kill him one night. They lived in a log cabin, <laughs> my mother said, and they came and he went out and he hid in the, in the woods someplace. They didn't find him, but they shot through the house but they have not to hit anyone. Mm. Yes, and then after that, she said, then they moved to, they left. Why were they after him? I don't know. Mother never did. He was so mean. I don't know. He said, <laughs> oh, they said he was, he was mean. <laughs> he was so mean. He, mm. I don't know just what he had done. But uh, she, he, uh, they come on to admit then, and then after that, then that's what happened when he, I don't know what happened that they got, got in, had a disagreement, and he left her with the children. Mm -hmm. So after, after my, my uh, mother married my dad, uh, her, his mother's name was Amy Johnson. Now who his daddy was, I'm telling this so the children will get it straight. Mm -hmm. He was a love child. I don't know who his daddy was. Mm -hmm. When he was grown and had us kids, and we were all big kids, and he said he met a fellow up to, to stay up to, up to the station. And uh, he come to him and wanted to say, your name Rob Johnson? He said, yes. He said, boy, I'm your dad, some white guy. And I never wanted to own that. I'm telling this so the kids will know, so that they won't want to own it either. I never did. I never did like it. He, if he couldn't own it before, mm -hmm. you know, when he could do something for him, I thought that was nothing. But I don't know how that happened, but he told me he was his daddy, that my dad came back and told us, you know, that's what he said. Mm -hmm. But my dad, he was hard working. My, my grandmother, she was a little lady. She married again, and well, she married, I don't know how many times. But uh, she had other children, but we weren't very close to them for some reason. And uh, he was a farmer, and we never knew anything about all this white stuff going on because we was very sheltered. My mother didn't allow us out of the yard half the time. And when we had to go to the store, we went and come right back. We heard things, but we never saw anything. The worst thing I ever saw, it, now that wasn't too bad, but it could have been. A kid right across, oh, neighbor across, across the, uh, just across the yard. This kid, I don't know if he had stolen something. This say he had stolen something, and here come, he's about 10 years old, or 11. Here come a bunch of whites down. Mm -hmm. They wanted to beat him up and find him. They couldn't find him. He climbed on top of the kitchen roof. It was, I can't tell you just how it was, how that house was built, but you know how some of the houses in the South are built. Mm -hmm. Somehow he got up on that kitchen roof, and he laid right behind the stovepipe, and they was all out in the yard, and they'd never seen him. I was so afraid they was going to find him. I was so afraid. But a whole bunch of white men come down for that child. Mm. That's the worst thing I ever saw. But I heard, I know they wanted you to call him Mr. and all that. Mm -hmm. But to see any of the other stuff. And my dad, they, he never messed, he never mingled with them very much. We was just kind of a set aside much, you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. and not. Well, that's the way we felt. That's mm -hmm. the way we <laughs> I'm not telling it just exactly like it was, but you know what I mean. We wasn't just down to low class. Mm -hmm. we always, my mother and dad always, we was always up. Mm -hmm. And so I never, I, I never got to know too much about all that other stuff, but I, I hear them talking. Yeah. I remember one time when they hung six Italians, but I was married at that time. Uh, they had supposed to rob some place down at a little place, a little, little town right below our home. And uh, they tried them, and they brought them up, took them to New Orleans for safekeeping. And they brought them back to admit that was the county seat and uh, for trial. And they had the trial, and they hung all six of them. One was a young boy, and mm. that, was, that was a terrible feeling at that time. And I yeah. wanted to leave right after that. 
I wanted to leave Louisiana. And it wasn't too long before Tom came to Hawaii. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we came up, he came up in October, I think, and he sent for me in December. Came up for the job? Yeah, uh, he came up with John. Well, for a job? For a job. Oh, mm -hmm. yes, mm -hmm. for a job. Well, John, well, he had a, he always had some kind of little work most of the time down south, but it didn't pay very much, you know. Mm -hmm. And so when he came up here, then things got, got more money got to coming in. Of course, living got better for us, you know. Mm -hmm. And then uh, Richie, he was, uh, he was, he, no, Richie wasn't in school yet, but he was just two years old, that's right. He came up here. Richie and, was born in? Uh, in Louisiana. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, he was know born that. in my okay. mother's house. That's out. right. Yeah. Okay. Born 1922, we came up in 24. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And he, oh, I was so proud of him. I had lost uh, two babies, and I prayed so for him, and and here he come. And I just yeah. never had love enough for him, you know. And he was our pride and joy, and Tom's always been a good father. And my mother and all my sisters, they all, they all done very well, mm -hmm. done very well. What was Tom like when he was young, when you oh, first met him? When I first met him. When I first met Tom, <laughs> I tell you, and I first met Tom, I didn't want nothing to do with him. He was, he was, uh, liked to fight, you know. He was, <laughs> he did, he, he was, he, oh, he, I didn't want nothing to do with him. Not yeah. at all. I can't even describe. <laughs> I wish I could see some kid around here to see. But I just didn't want nothing to do with him. But after he grew up, he changed. Mm -hmm. Oh, he changed, and I thought he was the greatest. He come back. He went uh, up in Illinois and worked a while and come back, and he dressed well, and he, Oh, he was he was all right then, you know, and yeah. I, that's how, that's when I started to fall for him. <laughs> yes, and we've been together ever since. We, we've, I know it's been sunshine, but we've made it, mm -hmm. you know. Well, that's the way yeah, I guess it is. That's the way it is in life. Mm -hmm. Because it's two different people, you know. Yeah, you gotta and, just work it out, and then you understand each mm -hmm. other. Now his mother, his mother's name Emma, Emma Lewis, and. Uh, that was her maiden name. Mm -hmm. He can tell you more about that than I can, but she, she was a hard worker. He was raised without a father. Mm -hmm. And uh, she was a good woman, a Christian woman. I loved her. Mm -hmm. She was so good to us. And uh, her, her sister, she had a sister. We all, her name was Martina, but we always called her Aunt Mark. Mm -hmm. And I just loved her. <laughs> I did. And then he, he had a sister, Rebecca. She had a quite a few kids. Well, she was all right. I didn't, wasn't, didn't get, wasn't around her as much as I was his aunt, you mm -hmm. know. And uh, that's who we've got to live in now, some of her children. Now, he probably can tell you more about his granddad, uh, whatever his name was. He remembers him, but I don't. Mm -hmm. I didn't nothing about him at that time. No, when I first met him, I wouldn't give a penny for him, because he, <laughs> he was something else. <laughs> yeah. He wouldn't stay in school. He, uh, what little school we had, you know. Mm -hmm. Oh, he didn't want. He just didn't want that part of it, you mm -hmm. know. I don't know. He must have saw a lot. He must have did. Mm -hmm. uh, but, uh, but we made it through. And so I'm trying to think now. That's about the highlights because I wasn't allowed out too much. I was too sheltered. Mother didn't. Mm -hmm. She was pretty tight on us girls, the whole family of us, mother and dad. Did you uh, see a difference, a big difference when you got up here to down in there, Mitt? Not too much. Not too much. Not at that time. I didn't. Between the Between the races. Mm -hmm. They tried, but, you know, maybe it was me. You know, maybe it's me now. Yeah, they, no, they, I don't they, think so. They, but they, 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 I think they tried, but I, I never could get. I never did. Never did believe they were true. Mm -hmm. I never did. They'd grin and talk, but I thought a lot of it was me. Mm -hmm. But now I know a lot of it wasn't me. See, I know better now. Mm -hmm. No, or what I found here that the kids go to school and the kids mingle and one hits you, hit him back, and nothing to it. You know, mm -hmm. just two kids out there fighting. You know? Something like that. That's now that's the biggest difference I've found, tell you the truth. And the money. That's the biggest difference I've found in the South. When, and right now, 
right now. I don't. I think they got some. I think it must. A whole lot of it is me, though. I mm -hmm. think. You know. I ain't got good reason. But I don't know. I I don't know if the differences were. I guess the danger mm -hmm. wasn't as great here. No, but I don't think. No, don't, that's right. That, I don't think that. the sincerity was any better here. No, 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 Mike. I now never believe it. Mm -hmm. And I I don't believe it now. Mm -hmm. I don't believe it now. There was a time they had a flood, and Tom and them had been out someplace, and he was coming home. And they had some streets blocked off, and I think I might tell this wrong. He ought to be out here. But anyhow, they wanted him to stop. He was in the car with somebody, and they, I don't know just what happened. They, one, one of them spoke out, we'll string you up or something like that, Tom said. They said to him. And I know Tom must have cursed him or said something. You know, he didn't take it. Mm -hmm. But he came home, and we kind of felt a little uneasy about that. I said, let them come on out here. Yeah, I'll feed you the shells if you shoot them. All I want you to do is just fire them. I'll sure give them to you. Mm -hmm. But see, such things as that, you know, you know where their minds are mm -hmm. to make a remark like that. Mm -hmm. So, yes, no, no, my goodness. It didn't, I can't see it. A lot of people think so, but I can't see it because Things come to push, you know, you can see the true colors. Mm -hmm. See the true, but I have to put myself in there because maybe mm -hmm. if I'd have been raised like you kids, I could see it different, you know. But I've been told things and seen things where they want little kids want you to say yes, ma'am, and no, Tom, you know, and I said, I hate with you, Tom South. Mm. Kids, little kids younger than you. Yeah. You say yes, them to me. Um, Mm. Just like that was going to make them so great for you, say yes I'm to them. Mm. I wasn't studying about them. I didn't have to call them nothing. Just mm -hmm. wait on me. That's in the stores, you know, the only place I'd meet them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm going to say yes, ma'am, no, ma'am to me. And what they did want you to get off the sidewalk for them. You'd, yeah. If they didn't, you'd bump into them, you know, if you stayed on there. They just thought they owned the whole sidewalk. I was... Um working with some uh, ladies at a, at a senior citizen center in Atlanta, and they used to tell me uh, the white folks would stop and make the men dance out in the street for them. That's what they said, mm-hmm. And uh, they'd be out there dancing and dodging cars and things. Oh, really? Yeah, so it was really, you know, just be walking down the street and somebody decided they want to make you dance. Well, they had, I don't know about making them dance, but they had some, some, now that was a bunch that hung around town, you know, around town, that hung around. They wasn't like our boys, and I don't think Tom and them done it either. But they they didn't do something that this white man wanted them, they'd eat, beat them up. I couldn't see that. Mr. Morgan, Mr. This one, Mr. That one. No. But that's the way it was, and I'm, I'm glad it's, it's, maybe it's getting, you young kids making it better, though. That's one of the things. You're not, the older people, I think, a lot of them just, well, they're just willing to take things more willingly, you know. That, uh, that much evil in the world just can't stay. That's true. It can't stay for too long. Mm -hmm. you know, it's got to even out get back to normal. Yes. You know, craziness has got to fade away mm -hmm. at some, some point. <laughs> but the, <clears throat> the thing, they want to be superior. They want above everybody, and mm -hmm. especially above the blacks. And yeah. I can't, I can't see it. Well, one blood made us all. But I want, I just wanted the kids to know their, their grandparents. Yeah. Don't, don't ever forget it. Robert Johnson and Maggie Steptoe mm. <laughs> and Melissa Steptoe and John Steptoe. Mm -hmm. Don't forget those. And don't forget Mama Emma. That's Tom's mother. We always call her Mama Emma. Mama Emma. Mama Emma. Mm -hmm. Mama Emma. See, what was she? She was Mama Emma Gordon, but she was, uh, her maiden name was Lewis. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And there were 11 of you kids 
There's 14 of us 14 here. 14 10 girls uh. and uh, four boys. Mm. What were the, all their names? You remember? Oh, them? sure. All our names. Pearl was oldest. Mm -hmm. Oscar and Myrtle, Mabel, Barbara, Oliver, uh, Katie, Vivian, Ora, Jack, Inez, Bill, and Louise. <laughs> <laughs> That's their name. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Barbara, she died just uh, last, last October. Mm -hmm. Yeah. She was in California, you remember. Yeah. She died in California. And my grandmother, she died with a, a hypertension. And so did Uncle Les, her son. And they were burying her, and Uncle Les were dying at the time. Mm. That's just how that went. And yeah. uh, her oldest daughter was named Josephine. She had two girls. And all, are they all gone now? I don't think I got any ants living that I know anything about now. Mm. They're all gone. And just the four of us girls living now. Mm -hmm. That's uh, Inus, uh, Katie, and Louise. And are me. they in Amit? The uh, Katie and Louise is in uh, Katie's in New Orleans, mm -hmm. and Louise is independent, and Inus is in in Uritsville. Yeah, no, not any in Amit. Independent is just a suburb almost of Amit. Mm -hmm. uh, she get her mail through Amit, you know, mm -hmm. that way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've been wanting to go over there ever since you all went back with Barry. Yeah. I've been wanting to go down there, and we oh. just have never made it. I don't know I why. wish you could make it. Go down there and meet some of your people. Yeah. My brother Bill, his name is Robert. We call him Bill. He's got a bunch of mm, real nice kids. They all got fine kids, but mm -hmm. Bill got he's got about eight or nine down there. They're all just so sweet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'd well, love I'd love to, for you to meet them. You just have to drive over. We just have to decide one time. Yeah, just drive decide over. to take off and go over there. It isn't yeah. that far, is it? It should be about a seven or eight hour drive. No, well, that isn't too bad. No. Mm. no Did you come up here by yourself? Uh -huh. Oh my, you and Nancy. <laughs> kids, I tell you, <laughs> yeah. you worry us to death. <laughs> yeah. Okay, thank you. Okay.